you know, if you're if you're big into salmon fishing and you get a lot of fish and you find yourself that you're not going through the fish that you're freezing within six months, you should absolutely be canning some of your catch. What's up, sea bums? It is the next day, and we are gonna can this beautiful winter chinook that we went and caught. Nice job. We're gonna fillet it out first, get it into some jars, put it into our canner, and I will show you guys the whole process along the way. So stay tuned, and we'll show you guys something cool. Beautiful. Look at this awesome, beautiful winter Chinook we got. Probably about eight, maybe 10 pounds. Really nice fish, wild fish. Got this. Uh, out in the Gulf Islands, really nice. We've already uh, gutted and gilled the fish, so all we have to do is uh, make some nice fillets. And let me show you guys how I do that. So we're gonna come in here, go around the collar. Beautiful, look at that nice fillet right there. Awesome. Come in here, up the collar, just like that. We've got a beautiful second fillet here. Then what I like to do is take a spoon, scrape all this amazing meat off of here. Throw that into a bowl. Perfect, look at that. Get all that meat as much as you can, because what we're gonna use this for is to fill up the cans. Any extra bits and pieces that we might need can come out of this bowl. It works really, really well. Here, you wanna waste as little as possible, right? The whole name of the game is preserving the fish in its entirety. So the more you can preserve, the better it is. And we've got these collar bits, pepper and salt, throw them in the oven for a couple of minutes, and you got yourself a nice little snack. So we'll definitely have that for later. So another favorite of mine is actually the belly right here. Uh, I really love to cook these in the oven, a little bit of pepper and salt, some soy sauce, and they make for a really awesome snack. So I always cut off the bellies. All right, come in here, cut all these little rib bones out. You can put a little slice in the tail like this so that you can hold the fish. So that's basically one fillet done minus taking the skin off. We'll do the same thing to this guy. So then the last step is just to take the skin off. So we'll go ahead and go like this. And in order to get the skin off really well, like this, you want to make sure you pull back on that skin so that it's, there's a lot of tension there and you're gonna get a nice clean uh, de-skinning like this every single time. And now we can come over here and we can start to portion out this Chinook for the cans. I'm just gonna grab one can and I'm just gonna use it for size reference. So I'm gonna square this up, put this piece in the bowl and we wanna be right to the top of the first ring right here, okay? So right here is the line. So we're gonna place that here and we're just going to score this fish, just like that. And then from here, you can basically just lay your salmon on top. You know exactly where you need to be. Now we've got ourselves some nice pieces. We'll go ahead and do the same thing to the next piece. So now that we've got our salmon completely portioned out, we're gonna go ahead and grab a couple cans, stuff the cans full, and then we'll show you how we're gonna add our preserve into the cans. All we're using is white vinegar and a little bit of sea salt. Should be absolutely amazing. Now, we're gonna take these nice big pieces and we're gonna start putting them into the jar, just like that. Eight, two, four, six, eight, nine cans. I think
think that's going to be close to all the cans we're going to get. Because we still have to come in here and stuff these cans full. We want them to be absolutely full. We don't want any uh, room left in the you know bottom portion of the can here. So we want to make sure that we fill that up just like that. We need one there. And then any of this uh, extra leftover stuff, if there's any gaps in here, we can put a little bit in here if we need to. And then we probably got one last can that we can do right here. We know that we need 11 lids. We're gonna get some water on boil. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our canner ready. I use an All-American 921 canner. This will do 21 half pint jars just like this. I'll leave a link below for this canner along with the Bernardin cans and the Bernardin lids. Let's go ahead. We're gonna fill this uh, canner up with some water. You wanna fill it up with water so that about a half to three quarters of the jar is submerged in water. Perfect. Now, in order to preserve our fish for long term, because these cans will last up to two, maybe even three years on the shelf, all the bones that are left in there are gonna be completely broken down. And how we accomplish this is by using white vinegar and a little bit of sea salt. So we're gonna go a half teaspoon of white vinegar and about an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of really good high quality sea salt. This is actually hand harvested sea salt from right here on Vancouver Island. It's some of the best salt around and this is what I use in my canner. You do not want to use something like Himalayan salt. I tried that one time and I ruined about 10 cans of salmon. So we're going to do just under a quarter teaspoon of salt per can. Awesome. So that's the salt done. Now we're on to the vinegar. Half teaspoon of vinegar in each one. Perfect. One extremely crucial part of canning is making sure that you clean the top of the jar where your lid is gonna seal. You don't want any fingerprints, any fish oils, salt on the rim of your jar because otherwise your lid is not gonna seal properly. So I always come in here, grab a nice clean rag, and I just go around the top of the lid here and just clean off anything that might be on that lid that it's going to affect its ability to seal properly. Let me just place our lids, put our rings on, make sure they're nice and tight. These jars are ready to go into the canner. Uh, we can do seven on the bottom, but because we have 11 jars, we'll probably do uh, a six and a five. Then we'll take one of these trays and we can do the last level. And five. Put our lid on. All right. And put our pressure release valve on. Make sure it's set to 10 pounds right here. 10 pounds is what we're going for. And now what we're going to do is we're going to watch that this reaches 10 PSI. Once it reaches 10 PSI, we can then turn down the burner to about four, maybe five, and it should stay at a nice 10 PSI the entire cook time. Once it reaches 10 PSI, we're gonna cook this for 90 minutes. So in a couple seconds here, we're gonna reach 10 PSI, and you're gonna see this valve start to release a little bit of pressure. And as it does that, we're gonna to start to cycle down the heat on the actual cooktop to about four, maybe five, and that'll keep a consistent 10 PSI throughout the cook. Gonna cycle this down a little bit. Canner's finished doing its thing. We're down to zero PSI. We're gonna remove this pedcock, make sure that any last pressure is removed, and then we'll go ahead and open the lid and have a look at these amazing cans of salmon. Let's find out. Awesome. So there's no more pressure in there. I can't hear it whistling anymore, so that's great. We'll go ahead and open up this lid. Now 
since some of these are still going to be boiling, take them out carefully. All right, so there we have it. All 11 of our cans are beautiful. None of it, nothing cracked. These look really great. You're gonna hear these snap down in a minute and uh, they'll be fully sealed. We're gonna leave these here overnight. You always wanna leave your cans on the counter to cool right down to room temperature overnight as best practice. Amazing. So there you have it. A whole bunch of canned salmon done, ready to go. Amazing for salmon sandwiches, salmon salad. I absolutely love eating canned salmon this way. Thank you guys so much. It was an awesome day fishing yesterday. I know we didn't keep any of those crabs, but we got that one awesome salmon. We got it canned up. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. My absolutely favorite way to eat canned salmon. Let me show you. Can of salmon, a bowl, a little bit of mayonnaise, some Dijon, some relish, a little bit of cracked pepper. Mix that all together. Throw it on a piece of nori and down the hatch.